Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary and I'm back. <laughs> I know it has been a hot minute since I've been on, but you know, life happens. So I'm back. I do have another haul for you. It is sort of a mixed haul because it's been so long and I have lots of stuff from lots of different places. Now, I have been to other estate sales in the meantime that you probably, you know, won't see a lot of this stuff from because I've put it away and it's been months. I did try to make a video, but it came out sideways <laughs> and I didn't know how to get it back horizontal. So I just um, put that one to the side and never uploaded it. But I do have this one, so hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> um, one of the first places that I went, well, not really one of the first places that I went, but one of the first things I'm going to show you is um, this cute little gumdrop and candy cane. And this is from Target. It's got glitter on it and little beads. And I just thought these were the cutest things. They have them for Valentine's Day, too, in different... Um, you know, characters like the jelly and the toast or the jelly and the peanut butter and the avocado and something else. It was so cute though. But aren't these so darling? So I've got that one. And then I also picked up this one, which is so cute as well. The little coffee or the hot chocolate and the marshmallow. Look at how glittery that is. I love it. And I love that little star on the side of the cup. And those were $5 a piece. I also picked up some lobsters and their ornaments for the tree. And this is for my seashell tree, sort of my beach themed tree that I have. And so I got a pink and a red and another pink. But aren't they so cute? I just love the glittery. I also picked up these little deer. I picked up these once before a couple years ago and they fell off my shelf and broke into many, many pieces. <laughs> so I thought I'd try it again. And I, oh, did I show you these? I don't think I showed you these little gingerbread. I picked these up from the dollar spot. They're just little gingerbread. I think you get 25 in the jar, but they're little foam gingerbread. So I took a couple out so you could see. They're really cute though. I love them. So I'll just throw those back in the jar. And then at Dollar Tree, um, I hadn't been in there in a long time. I just picked up some adhesive squares and some of these gingerbread that I like to emboss and make them glittery brown. And then I thought I'd try some stars just like that, but make them all different colors and glittery. So that's all I picked up from Dollar Tree. I really didn't see anything else. I was looking for these um, plastic deer that Gina from Scrapenology showed on her channel, but I didn't see any at the store that I went. So um, now we'll get into estate sale, estate sale stuff. I bought this huge container of buttons. <laughs> I have so many buttons already, but this one just looked intriguing to me. So, I mean, it just had so many buttons in here and a lot of them looked different, you know, like ones you wouldn't normally see. So I grabbed that, I'll just throw that there. And then I just took, you know, I took some off the top, some of the neat ones. And here are some that I got. I thought this was neat. And then this is like my favorite one that I saw so far. It's a butterfly on like a leaf. I don't know if you can see that or not. But anyway, he's really cute. And then this one was cool. Look at the glitter on that. And there's a few of these. And I always love the clear buttons. They have the neatest little designs. 
And this one looks like a marble. I can't really hold these anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then the last one is this green. So I just thought that those were really cute. I also got this dish at an estate sale too. <laughs> And then I got these little trees, and they are vintage. Aren't they darling? I'm like in the glitter mode, as you can tell. I'm not sure where to put all this stuff. I also picked up these two little angels. Then the Santa was just sitting on a shelf by himself and I thought he was so cute. So I picked him up. It doesn't look like he has any like marking on him except this one on the back and it's not really readable or anything. So I don't think it's worth, you know, any money or anything. I just thought he was really cute. And then I got a little recipe box, but it's called a Christmas list box. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Maybe you guys can make sense out of it. It says, never a Christmas morning, but someone thinks of someone. So, I don't know. <laughs> and then inside of it, I've got this cute little snowman. I just thought he'd be neat for a craft or something. And then this box of playing cards. My mom found that, so I thought they were really pretty. Oh. Looks like this rubber band broke already. A Dollar Tree one, bummer. And then these little gift tags. So there's a bunch of different ones in here. I don't know if we can see them. Yeah, they're all poinsettia ones. And these are all doll with a present. So I got those. And you know, all of this stuff, it just, when you go to an estate sale, they all have prices on it. And it looks really scary <laughs> most of the time. Like, I don't know. I think these had a dollar a piece on them or something or 50 cents. I don't know. Um, but when you get up to the register, as long as you, you know, you have a bag of stuff, they just give you a roundabout price. They don't usually count all the stuff in the bag. So I think one time I got a whole bag full of stuff for $5, you know. <laughs> so it's really just what they want to, what price they want to give you. But it's always less than the price, obviously, on the items. But aren't these cute little candy canes? I love them so much. And then I got some more of the tags. I got Santa and then this cute little candy dish. And then I got these, I think they're called cigarette cards, but I'm not really, let's see. It says Brook Bond Canada Limited. Cards free with, oh, these are tea or coffee. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> so you get these with tea or coffee. And these are mostly birds, I think. So you got, Aren't these so cute? They're so pretty just to put, you know, in the pocket or a little tuck spot of a junk journal. Or even a little tuck spot of a scrapbook page if you're doing like an outdoor theme. So lots of birds. Then I also got lots of butterflies. 
Here's the butterfly ones. And then even more flowers. <laughs> so here's the flower stack. Oh, that's the same one. I should put those together. There were duplicates of a lot of them and I tried to put them together, but see this one has three. But they're all so pretty, like a lady slipper. They're neat to read about. Oops. Then I picked up a couple like Valentine's and needle books and a couple handkerchiefs here. So this one, I wasn't quite sure but uh, what it meant, but it was so cute. It says, I'm your voted D. I'm not sure, maybe you guys can tell me. <laughs> but isn't it so cute? I loved it. I'm your pal and I voted you my gal. I love it, made in the USA. <laughs> 1942 and then here's a needle book um, this one I've never seen this one before it's called my lady old Manhattan and you open it up it's pretty messy but it does have some of the needles in here still then the other side is this my lady needle book so I thought that that was a pretty one. Then I got a traveler one. And this one looks like it's never been used. So that's cool. And then this Broadway one with the kittens. Love that. I don't know if there's any needles in this one. Cute. Another traveler one. Oh, this one doesn't look like it's been used either. And then I always try to pick up the astronaut type Valentines because I just really like them. <laughs> I have a little collection of them. So this doesn't say anything on the back or like the date. Hi young fella, here's a valentine rocket. I thought that was neat. And then the last valentine I got was this one. It says, be mine, your tops with me, I'll never let you down valentine. And then something on here moves. Oh his head. It's in the back here. But anyway, his head moves back and forth. Isn't that cute? 1942. And then here's the handkerchiefs that I got. I got this pretty like floral one. I really liked that one. Then this one, it's like bright with yellows and greens and peaches. And this one is nice too. It almost looks like a morning glory. I don't know if that's what it is or not because it's sort of like a vine. Then I got these little books. I just sort of search in bins and stuff for little ephemera. These weren't shown in the pictures of the estate sale or anything. It's called Dickens Christmas Carol and it's by a life insurance company and it's from 1925 but very cool. They were five dollars at one point from somebody. But I love that image. Then 
Then this is a version that I don't see very often of the 12 days of Christmas. So I picked it up. I thought it was really cute. Let's see what else. Oh, I had these. I forgot. These are neat. They go with those um, coffee cards. And I've had these before. Um, but I sold them. I think I'm going to keep these ones because I did miss them after I sold them. But basically you fill in each page with the coffee card. It tells you a little bit about each um, animal or flower or bird. But they have a lot of them filled in. Isn't that neat? So there's that one. And then you have the songbird one. Then you've got birds of North America. And then this one's cool, trees of North America. And then moving on, we still got some more estate sale stuff. I got this little tin. It's a butter mint tin. by Katherine Beecher. Let's see if I can move this stuff up a little bit so I can open this. And then I got these little deer for crafting. There's a bunch of these in there, like tiny deer. I thought they were pretty neat. Here's like trees in a snowbank with a bird flying. And then just some more deer in the package. And some more little deer. So those are neat for crafting. So that's what I got from there. And there's just a few more estate sale items. I love these. I thought this was a neat find. They're called Stardust Bulbs. And they just have glitter all over them. I just can't imagine what these would look like plugged in. I think it would be great to have a whole strand of these on the tree. <laughs> but I would just be afraid to have them, you know, lit and plugged in and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. I could put them in the bowl of ornaments that I have sitting out of vintage ornaments. I could um, put them in one of the wreaths that I make of vintage ornaments and lights. I could, I'm just trying to think of things that I could do with these, but I love them. So <laughs> I just, I think that they're the prettiest little, they look like candy, you know? So anyway, then I found this and this is a corsage and I love these. I sold the last couple that I got online because, you know, I don't really know what to do with it other than display it because it's so gorgeous. I mean, they kept it in like perfect condition. Oops, sorry, I hit the, the camera. And it's in this box. So, probably put that in my eBay store. And lastly, did I? Yep, this was something I got at an estate sale the Circus Alphabet. And this was from 1954. And it has some cute illustrations in it. It's a telltale book. So I got that one. And then I think, yeah, this is the last thing. I got some bridge score sheets from one of the estate sales. And they basically just look like this. We and they, I've never played bridge before, so I have no idea actually how to score, but I just think these are really pretty. Um, next from Diane at Pretty Pink Cottage, I bought these cards from her and she sent me this cute little card for free. Isn't that darling? Um, I bought these party stunt cards from her and they are just neat. I think that they're from... Man, where, what year was this? 1930 or something? Or 1920? 
1935. So it's just serve guests with imaginary refreshments like water. See, that's the type of thing that you'd have to do with this game. And it's just, you know, it's really neat. Act like a squirrel and pick out the biggest nut in the room. So, I mean, it's not really appropriate for these days, but they're still funny, you know. <laughs> Some of the cards are really not appropriate, so I just um, took those out. But some of the cards, you know, they're really cute. So I collect these type of cards, um, vintage cards, and I have a whole bunch of them. So I was so excited to get those from Diane. And then from Meg at Chasing Retro, her daughter paints these little pieces of ephemera. And so I was really excited to get these. How do I get these open? Her daughter so talented. I don't know how somebody would paint these. <laughs> but look, I mean, she made this little pie. Pumpkins. I mean, it's just all these things are gorgeous. I mean, there's so much detail in these, too. I have to say I love the black cat. <laughs> I have one of them myself. But thank you so much, Meg's daughter. These are absolutely gorgeous. I got another pack too that are very similar, but I'm so happy with them. I just want to order more and more from her. She is an excellent artist and um, I really think that she could just make money doing this kind of stuff. So keep on going. And then from Meg, I also got these cute little um, invitations. They're strawberry invitations, but aren't they neat? It would be very nice if you could come for. <laughs> I thought that was cute. I should have gotten more, but I think she's really low in stock. Um, what else did I get? Oh, these are some things from an estate sale too. I always pick these up when I find them. And then some more bridge score pads that I don't know how to use. <laughs> And then this little book, The Pony Show, a tiny elf book. I just thought this was neat. And she, it had Mary Ellen written in there. I thought that was neat. My name's Mary, not Ellen, but still neat. And just very nice illustrations in there. Okay, from, I believe this is Home Goods. Yeah, or this is either Home Goods or TJ Maxx, but either way, I love these. They're just tags, but of course, I'm going to use them as ephemera, tuck, you know, um, little tags for tuck spots and journals. Not necessarily just tags for Christmas presents. <laughs> then I went to Michael's because they were having a sale on their paper, and I picked this up. I don't have this one. It's primary foil and you get this really pretty like red foil, orange foil, yellow, green, and then blue. But I just think it's so pretty. Look at this blue. It doesn't show how vibrant it is, but really got me when I saw the blue. I just think it's really pretty. So I picked that up from Frank Garcia. He was having a sale as well. And I got some of the Simple Vintage Berry Fields. And so here's some of the chipboard. And I know that this, see it was $4.99, but I think that they were all half off. So it was a really great deal. 
I know I'm a little late to the game. I think this was more of a spring summer collection, but I didn't even see it come out. So, um, and I'm really trying not to get any more collections because if you've seen my tour video, <laughs> you'll know that I really don't need any more paper. <laughs> But this one was really cute. I love roosters, I love strawberries. So this was right up my alley. And then here's the ephemera. I like how they're using that Viewmaster wheel a lot in ephemera now. It's so cute. And then these are neat. I can't wait to use these. These are the rub-ons. But look at how, like, I don't know, they're just, like, packed with neat little images. So I really like rub-ons. I know they're sort of out of style, but I really think they're cool. Here's the back. Sorry for that glare. And then they got the decorative brads, so they're not really poking through the paper they're just stickers which is nice I like that and I did get the simple pages um, page pieces it's bigger so you can use the big word on the page and stuff like that gives you sort of an idea and then I got some of the paper And I'll just show you those really quick, if I can. I should have did this first before. <laughs> I got all this stuff on the table. Here, we'll do this. Isn't that pretty? With the bingo card and everything. And then this side. I think Frank might still have some of these in stock in a shop. I do have one more estate sale thing that's pretty neat to show you after this, if you want to hang around. Um, these berries, and then this, sort of similar to the other one. And I love these tags. I love all of like the grid paper, the ledger. And I like how they just, you know, already have the back done for you as well. Um, there's one last thing from Michaels I wanted to show you, and that is this. I'm not going to go through it because I'm sure you've seen it on other people's channels, but I love this new Christmas pad, Candy Brights from Michaels. It is so pretty. I love the colors. This is like the color of my Christmas at home. <laughs> Pinks and just vibrant greens and stuff like that. So this, I just had to get it. I don't know. I really didn't need it again. But it was on sale. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't have gotten it. But still, it was so pretty. And um, I usually don't get the Michaels paper pads because I usually don't like them. But I'll just flip through it really quickly. But they're so pretty. I mean, look at that. It's like that ribbon candy with disco balls. Oops, I think I missed some. The snowflakes. Oh, I love this one. And the peppermints. So yeah, you get a lot of pretty pages on there. And this is the last thing I wanted to show you from the estate sales that I went to. I got this queen size chenille blanket. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Has no stains on it. I've already washed it, which I probably didn't need to because there was nothing on it. But look at how gorgeous this is. I just love it. 
So this was a great find. It's a queen, no stains, no holes, no nothing. And it was 10 bucks. <laughs> I was like in shock. So I was in shock that nobody had picked it up before me. <laughs> I just love it. So that is gonna go on one of our beds. Anyway, I hope that you liked this haul. Estate sales, um, Diane, Meg from Chasing Retro and Pretty Pink Cottage and um, a little bit of home goods. Um, mostly estate sale, right? <laughs> and um, I hope that I can come on and make another video sooner rather than later. That would be great. And I hope that you are all doing well. I know that the weather is changing and um, getting a little bit colder. And I, it's hard for me. Um, I really like the warm weather um, better than the cold weather, though I do like the snow. So if it's cold out, I'd rather there be snow. <laughs> but if it's just cold, um, it's really hard for me. I actually got um, one of these to help. I don't know, it's called a happy light. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but you just put it on for like 15 minutes a day and it just gives you that, you know, that bright light that you need. Um, yeah. I got it from Amazon, but it's, you know, it's really cool. It's got a timer and everything on it. You could even use it to wake up if you wanted to, but that's not why I'm using it. I'm using it to keep me happy during the winter. Um, but anyway, that's off topic. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. I hope you're all doing well. And um, if you stayed this long, hopefully you will like and subscribe and write a little comment. I love seeing your comments and I love writing back. So talk to you all soon. All right. Love you. Bye bye.